Dear colleagues, this is an intermittent cataract. In this video, I am going to show Mommy Rex. Mommy Rex is Mohanta's mini rexes. Two stress rexes in intermittent cataracts has been shown about three decades back by Dr. Howard Gimbel. And later on, Dr. Arup Chakraborty has shown it very beautifully. But in those cases, high molecular weight viscoelastic substance like Helon 5 has been used to flatten the anterior capsule of the cataract. But in my technique, you don't use any high molecular weight viscoelastic substance like sodium hyaluronate. In my technique, you use only HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Yes, only HPMC. So let us see how it is done. By this time, the capsule has been stained with type and blue dye. HPMC has been injected into the entry chamber. Now, here goes the bent 26 case needle. Incise the capsule and raise this curved flap. Hold this flap with the uterata forceps and do a small rexis at the anterior pole of the cataract. The anterior pole has been flattened a little bit with HPMC and that is enough. You don't need any sodium hyaluronate. Now I'm going to decrease ILP, that is intralenticular pressure, by squeezing out some cortical matter through this small opening. Some lens matter is being squeezed out through this opening and intralenticular pressure is being reduced. Yes, the intralenticular pressure reduces drastically by this maneuvers and you will see that when I enlarge this small rexis to an adequate sized one, there is no tendency of the capsule to run out. So enough of reduction of ILP has been done. And now I'm going to use a vana scissor to cut the margin of this rexis here at around 8 o'clock. And now I take the uterata again and enlarge the rexis. And see, it is stemmed. This is stemming of the shrew. The capsule which was very disobedient has been made very obedient and an adequate size terexis has been done. So the main challenge of intumescent cataract which is capsulorexis has been done so beautifully and you get a very nice terexis. Now here it is. I am doing direct job of the nucleus and see this nucleus is very brittle and it is being chopped so easily. The nucleus is not very hard also. Sometimes though the hard brown nucleus can be covered by a white sheet of cortical matter and in those cases we have to increase our level of competence and do those cases. But most of the intermescent cataracts are usually of this kind. Brittle nucleus, nucleus cracks very easily there is no stubborn posterior plate. So the main challenge is not nucleus management. The main challenge of intermescent cataract is doing capsulorexis. Now cortical cleanup is being done. A little bit of viscoelastic substance is used before I 
use Simcoe so that the anterior chamber remains formed most of the time when I introduce the Simcoe through the main incision. Now, when I go through the side ports, the anterior chamber is very much formed. You can use a coaxial IA or bimanual IA at this stitch. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a hydrophobic aspheric intraocular lens, single piece lens from uh, IOC. It is called Acreol. No financial interest, just to inform you what is the lens. <clears throat> So the lens has been placed in the capsular bag and now the lens is dialed. Since there is no viscoelastic substance, just inject moxifloxacin and do stromal hydration at the side ports to close the side ports. Yes, so the case is done. So if we don't use visco to implant the lens lot of time is saved just have to form the entire chamber and conclude the case dear colleagues hope this video will help you in doing mommy rex